Hey guys, John Loxley here back with our blind playthrough of Narcosis. So, just before we begin, I, I hit, you know, E to start already, but, but I'm curious, um, and this applies for whenever you guys see this in, you know, two days from now, five years from now, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm curious on your guys' feedback. Um, so, so far, I typically don't use face cam a lot. Uh, I don't want, um, ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit continue. I meant to, uh, well, here, let's, let's pull that up real fast. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, interesting. 14.7 depth only negative 200 meters. I, I doubt that's correct, but anyway, um, no, the whole face cam thing, I typically don't use it because I don't want it covering a random part of the screen. I mean, there's there's some games that are just designed with face cam in mind, so they'll avoid, like, a corner, or I think Subnautica had, like, this section right here where you could put, you know, your face. Um, most games, like most current games with the 16 by 9 ratio, I typically don't just because I don't want to take away from the game. But at the same time, I understand that I think it would probably help, um, you know, connect on a, this is going to sound really stupid, but connect on a more emotional level with you guys. So I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn. I, I would like your feedback though. Like I do it, or I have done it on when I did the AM2R playthrough, because that's a four by three and I can kind of, shove the game to one side or the other and put my face up there. But, you know, I'm curious what you guys think. If you want to leave a comment, that would be great. I'd, I'm interested in your guys' feedback. So, you know, should I use more face cam? Should I keep it the way it is? Should I use less face cam? I think, like, it was, it's weird because I've only done one, uh, one game with face cam. But, uh, yeah, let me hear your guys' feedback. I'm, I'm curious. You know if if you want no uh no pressure or anything so you know thanks potentially in advance all right well let's resume and see our uh lsd in induced fever dream i guess all right so we're in the crash sub compass one compass two the controls are the same And, uh, oh, the AED's on the floor over there, so let's, ooh, that's, yeah. Well. Yeah, it's, like, without the thing to, without the edges of the, the mask or whatever, I don't know, like, which way. It's hard to, to gauge. H2O Horizon, like Horizon with H2O. Okay, so... I mean, I assume that I'm actually underwater now and probably walking around. Do I just pick a direction and walk? And then snap back into reality here in a second? The space does not boost me. I mean, the other thing is, I guess I could walk towards the sun. Like, I don't see anything else on the horizon. That could be, like, a building or something over there, but I doubt... I mean, it's basically the same street view from Google Maps or whatever. Just kind of pasted. Um... On an unrelated note, when I was in college, I had a dude that did a panoramic, or he did like a panoramic shot with an actual camera. And it was really interesting. Like he calculated the position of the sun and marked it where he wanted to take the photo. And so he took basically three photos, like here, here, and here, like following the path of the sun. And he made it like one, like I didn't even realize they had photo paper that went, um, 
you know, super wide. Um, that was like three photos joined together, but apparently they do. And it was really neat to see how he like imaged it together and, and it was really neat. So it was like morning to night over, you know. I'm going to be super pissed if I missed something in the... Wait, it's gone. Weird. Well, let's uh, let's go towards the light, I suppose. What kind of flowers are these, by the way? Poppies? Maybe... Maybe the thing is just out of focus. Kind of, um... Come on, man, where's the tree? That's... All right. Maybe we just go towards the tree? I don't know. Uh, what is this? There's, like, water near it? Are we supposed to go into the water? And a bicycle? See, I don't want to look away from the tree. I want it to stay in my field of view so it doesn't disappear again. I mean, what happens if we... Because that drops, so I guess uh, let's do it. And, yep, it's going to black. You abandoned your kid, Sorry, man. Um, can you repeat the question? I was hoping you'd talk about the moment when you realized that the ones you collided with were, in fact, the ones you were trying to save. It was horrible. I mean, the odds of us finding them in the first place were poor. I sure as hell didn't expect to run into them. I... I don't know. I mean, I never found out who was in the other half of the wreck. Not alive, anyway. That seems like a real bad... you know, safety... protocol thing. My oxygen is not going down while I'm in here. And there's a light over there, which we probably have to go to. That reminds me of Soma, which I haven't played, but I'm familiar with. I figured I was never going to play Soma because it was... Hang on, let me pause again for a second so I can, you know, talk. Oh, interesting. All this stuff is question marks. Like, Soma, even though it looked interesting, was like 40 bucks or something ridiculous. And I'm, uh... I'm the guy or I'm a guy, I suppose, that generally speaking follows the mantra of never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Kind of the, you know, Secret of Monkey Island thing, right? Which is another game I haven't played, but that's, well, maybe one day. So I was like, you know, this Soma is 40 bucks, it looks interesting, but, you know, whatever, even on sale... It's it's probably going to be a long time. So I watched um, Joseph Anderson's review of it. And honestly, I was blown away. I was like, I did not know it was like this. That looks really interesting. Um, but he, I don't think he talked about the anglerfish or whatever. I've just heard about it where you're following the light and all of a sudden it turns out to be something that tries to eat you. And I don't know. You know, but I wasn't going to pay 40 bucks for a walking simulator. That's just too, too much. And then they were giving it away for free from, you know, through the Humble Bundle to promote whatever game they were selling next, I guess. I mean, I don't know why else they would sell it for free or give it away. All right, well, you know, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to come back here or not. So let's, uh, oh, look at that. We're like in the thermal area. This really is Subnautica. 
Um, I don't think I'm gonna come back here, so let's grab some O2. And that's something. What is that? Hmm. I don't know. Wait. Oh! My faceplate's damaged. And apparently I survive. Or apparently I'm going to survive. Because, you know. I'm talking to a therapist or something. I assume maybe you don't want to step on the lava area. Is that a crab? No. I'm kind of uh, paranoid about those crabs now. Well, there's more of them. Go away, you little punks. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, you know, the fact that there's fire right there and it looks all glowy like lava. Not so, you know. Oh, did it, did I knock it away? Kind of. All right, let's try going this way. Yep, the light. Yeah, I would wager you don't want to step on that area either. Oh, there's a big one. Two big ones. Three big ones. Son of a... I don't know if I can distract them with flares. That one's coming this way. Uh, looks like another one's going that way, so what then? Oh, don't kill me, please! Don't kill me! Maybe just go this way. Maybe I, uh go across the lava on rocks or maybe I go this way I what no oh, hey little little crab okay I don't think it's coming that way I don't know if I want to go out there to be honest that still seems like a really bad idea I mean maybe All right. Well, it works. <coughs> um, I think I was going this way. Well, it worked. Oh, do I go down into the cave? Ooh, I suspect not. I suspect not. Oh, there's a big crab down there. Oh no, am I? Oh crap, crap, turn, 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 turn. I'm, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh no. Oh jeez. Maybe you won't notice. Can I duck? All right, well that works. Oh no, not you. Okay, it's chasing it, it's chasing it. Okay, that's fine. Um, is it turning around? Please tell me it's not. Let's uh, let's try going like. Uh, I don't want to get my face punched in. Again, once was enough, I think. Okay, that one might be dead. It's not. Son of a biscuit. Okay, did it get the? It got the octopus. I guess it's fighting. And... Oh, okay, that big one's probably dead then. Let's hope that it is. How do I... Is this the way? I can't tell. Man, why did I have to come down here? Oh, jeez, not another big one. Please don't be dead. Or, I mean, please be dead. Okay, that I think is dead. A dead octopus thing. Um, let's hope so. 
the orphanage achievement unlocked. I, I guess, I, I don't know. Why can't I look down? I mean, this is probably the only way we can go. Okay, another crab over there. Big crab right there. I assume the orphanage referred to the, you know, oh, another crab. I don't like them. And skeletons. Okay, I guess we go this way. Boost! Boost, and those are probably eggs. Little crabs. This looks like we're inside the mouth of some big thing. I'm really tense right now. Um, yeah. Don't be stuck. It's probably like, okay, well, we're taking you back out to the surface now. Uh, do it again and don't get stuck this time. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, that's pretty. All the jellyfish and stuff. And I saw the other crab over there. Where is the... Just don't fall. Oh, how many crabs is that? Um, a lot. Okay, where is... going now is the problem. But what I'm trying to do is that the... no? Oh! Okay, maybe that's where the light was. That looks artificial. And I can't see anything else, so let's go to it. Let's head straight for it. Um, that actually looks like another pod. Maybe the one I was at? No, it's the destroyed one, isn't it? Son of a... Well, that's... Oh, oh, no, don't... Oh, we're falling we're in. We're talking about protocol. Ah, oh, crap. By your own admission, there are instances where you didn't follow procedure. There's your radio and Cora. Granted, this was unprecedented. But as you said, second-guessing puts lives at risk. Do you think the outcome might have been better if you'd just followed the rules? Well, it might. But there's no way to know that. What rules? Also, did I... Did I mess up? Because I didn't see any blinking light. Oh. Walking coffin comes offline. Locate compass two. Okay. Well, I know, I know I'm, you know, back at the, where I was. Oh, dude, look at this. I skipped a whole section. See, this was probably where you're supposed to go towards the blinking light, and I must have just totally missed that little section, and and then it's like, oh, you're at the blinking light, now go to the other thing. That's probably why they were like, well, you know, should you have just followed the rules, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe that's what it would have done anyway. I, I don't know. So I'm kind of hosed on that. But I'll keep going. Maybe I, maybe there's multiple endings. I don't know. I know I missed probably the death logs of... Well, how many people are alive at this point? Or have we not found? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Potentially eight.
Wait, so where is this? Is this a facility? I guess. Oh, geez, we're dropping again. Okay, well, what is that red thing over there? No, this is the actual other sub, right? Well, okay. And I guess I survive, right? I mean, I guess me talking to some random other person, that's another anglerfish. Means I survive and, oh yeah, you. I see you, I think. Nope, okay, never mind. So, suit, what are we at? Suit is, oh, oh! Dead, yeah, okay. Sorry, Castillo. <clears throat> Dive master. Beneath that easygoing exterior, JB was a well-oiled machine, firing on all cylinders. Serious business. All four of us, oh, all four of us carried top-notch credentials as expert ADS operators, but JD was next level. He really came alive when poured in out on a hike. I don't, I don't know what that means. Strolling side by side with JJ, swapping tall tales. I guess at least he died the same way he lived in his element, doing what he loved. Um, no. I don't think this is doing what he loved. Unless dying is what he loved. Okay. Oh, JJ. There you go. So the four... Okay, but he was an engineer. He's a senior diver. Junior diver. We haven't found him. She's a diver. So the four of us? She's a rig manager. So there's four divers, right? Yeah. So I must be this dude. I guess. Well, okay. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, that's another... Uh, wait, what was that? Retrieve object. A watch. But whose? Okay, we haven't found his body yet. Wristwatch. If there's one guy... Well, presumably he was in the sub. If there's one guy in the hab who didn't need a watch, it's Kip. Tools to track time and oxygen are essential for me. For him, it's just baked in. It figures he and the robot got along so well. Man's a machine. A walking, talking metronome. First to every meeting. Infatuated with numbers and details. Speaks when spoken to. But you get the feeling he'd rather everyone just shut the hell up and do their jobs. Who, uh... Oh, this guy. Oh yeah, there's the little watch thing. Okay. Walking coffin. That's dark. I mean, that's basically what the suit is, right? The walking coffin. Kind of. Yep, yeah, there's the second. But that's an actual sub. Like, the thing we were on wasn't a sub, was it? Oh, maybe this is a sub second thing. Because we were on, like, a shuttle. So you're lost and looking for some way out not, of all of this. Not this way. And really, your or... only option now is the other habitat, Crap. Compass 2. And what's most unsettling t to me is you're in this dive suit. You call it a walking coffin. Yep. I can't even imagine what that takes. It takes everything. But when you're losing your strength and your senses, well, like I said, it helps you focus on what little's left. Okay, just don't fall, please. Is this where I'm going? Like, do I do... 
Uh, maybe I go across? Let's try going across. That seems to be the way to go. And, oh, it looks like I go across again. I see. Oh, jeez, look at... Oh, hey, another anglerfish. And whatever those things are. Let's try going over here. Warning. Elevated. Oh, I, oh, it hit. It fucking rams you, man. Okay. Come at me, bro. One more ought to do it. Come on, just hit the thing. Is it dead? No. Oh, come on. Dude, okay. In the mouth of madness. Achievement unlocked. Okay, if you say so, what's over there? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we gotta keep... Do we keep going? Like... Oh, there's the dead dude or whatever. And I think we can go down. I don't think we have a choice anyway. Okay, we're gonna go to... Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say we'll go back this way, but it looks like nothing else is... Okay, so dead dude's walking. Is that thing alive? Doesn't look like it. So maybe that thing's actually real. The... Oh, we're, we're going somewhere else now. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Oh, more of the poppies. Or are they poppies? I don't know. Leopold... Five. Yeah, that's probably me. Uh, probably this way. This way just seems like a drop. Yeah, let's not go that way. Um... Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. Man, I don't know. Am I supposed to go... Let's try going this way, I guess. Okay. And... The bike. Got it. Old school, too. So down or this way? Or is that down also? Crap. Is that the right way? Is it not the right way? I guess, uh... I wonder if it's... Like, you're supposed to choose up, you know what I mean? Books, okay. Like, you're supposed to choose, like, the path that takes you to a higher point. Like, those go down. What about this? Um, I mean, I guess this way, maybe. What is this? A wooden... Pillar? Ah, grandfather clock. Counting backwards very quickly. This seems to be the only way to go. I guess we'll go this way. It's surreal. Okay, maybe it wasn't the right way to go. Uh, let's try going back then. Okay, I guess that was probably correct. That's another flare. 
Even setting that aside, so much about your ordeal is almost beyond most people's comprehension. Were you ready for this? Or were you lucky? No. No luck. You mentioned possibilities. Does a part of you wonder where you'd be if you'd never gone down there in the first place? Not really. I, I mean... That kind of thinking won't get you anywhere. No luck. That's interesting. So someone put a flare. So maybe there's someone alive. Uh, but I don't know where to go from here. I guess just forward? Okay, another angler, huh? Ah, oh, crap. Quick, hit, attack, attack. There we go, there's one. Uh, where now? Oh, you. Oh, you. Jerk. I wish I could shoot a flare into your stupid mouth. On, stop hitting me and try and bite me. Man, I'm down to 27 oxygen. This damaged suit limping along. Well. You know, we'll probably get there, wherever we're going. Oh, crap. Okay, that thing's going at least. Elevated O2 intake. Well, no doubt, but from what? Okay, I don't think I can go that way. Let's try this way. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, there's, um, you know, one of those things right there. Can I go that way? Or can I go this way? Is this a way to go? No, it doesn't look like it. Man, I wish my O2 intake wasn't elevated at the moment. Oh, great. More of you guys, huh? Okay, how about we just go this way, around you, and you maybe F off, and let me... I'm down to 12, dudes. Am I stuck? 10%. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, 9. Jeez. Last day of third grade, we drive down to the dock. She points at her watch, tells me, close your eyes. She puts her hand on my chest, says, 10 seconds, and then I'm falling. Oh, I'm running out. I'm Please. Drown. I mean, I'm sure of it. Yeah. She's shouting, not to interfere. Ten seconds later, her hand's on mine, pulling me up. The next day we go again. Only now it's 15. I'm up all night, watching the clock, trying to count 20 on the dot. I knew so long as I, you know, hold out. 40 seconds. 45. She'd come. I don't know if I'm going did. the right way. I'm probably screwed. My first thoughts... Maybe I messed up the count. Son of a bitch! Second thoughts. I'm, I'm dead. Own. I'm dead! I open my eyes and the sun's behind her. But I know that shape. It's familiar. Arms crossed, staring down at me. Yeah, thanks, man. 
I know, I'm dead. It's not a wasting life. Okay, where am I now? Do we have to listen to that thing again? You know, nope. setting that aside, so much about your ordeal is almost beyond most people's comprehension. Were you ready for this? Or were you lucky? No, no luck. You mentioned possibilities. Does a part of you wonder where you'd be if you'd never gone down there in the first place? Not really. I, oh, well. I mean, I'm, that kind of thinking won't get you anywhere. Did I miss the body? Attack! I guess the answer was, I did miss the body. Where is the stupid... there it is. Right, I was probably supposed to find this. I'm not proud of some of the things I did. But I'm not leaving anything out. I can't. Not proud meaning, yeah, salvaging from dead bodies. Uh, God knows how Dr. Vandero managed to get herself into an ADS, let alone make it that far on foot. Even for those of us who get poured in daily, it's not exactly a one-man job. I found her about a mile from the crash site, a tiny lighthouse in the storm, beacon to nowhere. But to come this far and not see it through, something inside must have broken down. Can't see why else she'd be sitting out here all alone. Another ghost in the machine. So she gave up? Maybe. I mean, I don't have the knowledge to be like, oh yeah, she just decided to sit down. I mean, maybe it was... Maybe it was nitrogen narcosis, you know? Okay, so now we're at... You know, we we missed her the first time. Okay, you. You just stay there. Yeah, we'll ignore those guys, and then we'll scoot over here like this. You know, Last day of third grade, see, this is what I thought. The dock. This stuff, I, I thought she it was like, oh, that's... Tells uh, me to close your eyes. I was like, oh, okay, it's, we're running you out of oxygen, chest, so says, that's normal. Ten seconds, and then I'm falling. I'm gonna drown. I mean, I'm sure of it. She's shouting, not to interfere. Ten seconds later, her hand's on mine, pulling me up. The next day we go again. Only now it's 15. I'm up all night, watching the clock, trying to count 20 on the dot. I knew so long as I, you know, hold out. 40 seconds, 45, she'd come. Mm, excuse me. And one day she didn't. My first thoughts... Maybe I messed up the count. My second thoughts, I'm on my own. I open my eyes and the sun's behind her. But I know that shape. Oh no! Familiar. Arms there we go. Crossed, staring down at me. I was right here. I just chose that way instead of this way. Because I kind of panicked. Because I was like, oh man, I'm out of, I'm out of time.
What's... What's all this green stuff? Man, I would have almost made it too. I mean, I'm sure... Oh, these are... Oh, that's weird. Anyway. By the time I climb onto the dock, she's already home. That's kind of messed up. That was his wife, I guess. That was holding him under. Try and try again. Well then. Do we find... Does anybody survive this? Oh, big, big octopus. Methane is a greenhouse gas, one of the most potent. Other industrial disasters may have been more severe, but Oceanova was groundbreaking, like you said. It could be years before we know all the consequences. We might never understand the ecological impact. It was very expensive and 19 people died. Like it or not, you're the human face of all this. So what do you say to your critics? I believe in what we were doing. But was it worth the cost? Is he gonna respond? Also, is this a... Is there an agenda behind this? You know, is it like a tree hugger thing? I mean, I... I hear the crabs. Man, you can't even tell until you get close. Uh, handheld game console. Uh, in some other life before the Hab, Salo was a soldier. He didn't need to say so, but that didn't stop him. He liked to joke that this battered plastic brick was bulletproof on account of their having survived numerous combat, combat missions together. Said is how he earned all of his extra lives. That used to be funny. Well, here comes Jack. He's gonna walk across the monitor, maybe. Lately, he's wanted to, uh... Okay, don't go in there. Oh, no, that's Compass 2, isn't it? Oh, well, let's go this way, then. And we'll go over here first. There is Jack. What are you doing, Jack, baby? See you, Jack. Oh, there's another person. Is it the same one? Is it, uh... Russ? Yep. Yep, okay. Jack, don't don't move my mouse, please. Please don't move it. Oh, he's oh oh oh, oh no, okay. Uh yeah, alright, hang on, hang on, Jack. Hang on. Okay. He likes to lay on top of my hand on the mouse. And it uh, doesn't really work out very well because, you know, all of his weight is on my fingers. Come on, Jack. Come on. This way. Okay. Into the lap. And when he does that, it's like, oh, I just randomly decide to click buttons. It's now mauling one of my kitties. We're about, we're about done, Jack, baby. Just lay down. Don't, no, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Just lay. Just lay down. Chill out. Chill out, you weirdo. <sighs> I don't know if you hear, like, like, movement sounds like, of him, like, rubbing against the microphone, but he is. Okay, come on. Come on this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Daddy's in the middle of something, you little cat. 
You're my baby. You just gotta calm yourself. Ugh. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate their, you know, it's not just them wanting food and stuff. Like, they come see me when they want, you know, when they want attention or whatever as well, which is really nice. But sometimes, like right now, it kind of gets in the way of things. And I'm trying to pet him so that he lays down into my lap. Otherwise, he'll jump back up and lay right on top of the mouse or rub his face against the microphone or walk in front of the screen. You know, it makes it kind of a pain. But, okay, we're going to try this check, baby. He's sitting... He's sitting now. Okay, so just... Oh, no, he's going against the microphone again. Jack. Could you not? All right, Jack, baby. Chill. Chill out. Okay, this... Like, I don't know what the deal is with this area. You know? And Jack, stop rubbing against the microphone, please. Jack, Jack, Jack. All right, you, I'm gonna grab you. You are gonna be a real, I swear if you knock that over, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, let's go this way, okay. <sighs> Just sit right there, sit, lay down, lay down, lay down, Jack. All right, let's let's move. He's rubbing his face against the speaker, so he's about to go against the microphone again. There he goes. Okay, good, good, good job, Jack. Uh, okay, I cannot go in there. Uh, anything over here? It's hard to. S oh, good, another octopus. You know, I'm trying to attack you, you silly thing. There we go. What about now? Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Is it dead? Okay, that looks like something over there. Yep, that's a... What was that? Oh, there's the... the person. Maybe this is the right way to go, then. Let's try going over... So we'll hit up this dead body, we'll go back to the lift, see if we can get into Tump Compass 2, and then, uh... And then, and then go from there. <laughs> also, Jack is shedding all over the keyboard, like, a lot. Just lay down, please. Lay down, my little one. Or, go back and lay in the sun. You were doing that earlier. I don't know why you want to do it now. No, no. Just lay down, you silly cat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. I'm not. We're not going after sharks. What are you being weird for, Jack? <sighs> I love you, Jack, baby, but you're being annoying right now. You're being annoying, Jack. Come on, come on, come on. He's purring like crazy, too. I don't. I doubt you can hear it, but... Look, Jack, baby, I'm going to put you in a suplex. Or, I don't know wrestling, but... What's the one where you, like, put their head under your arm and... Yes, I know, I see it. Okay. Oh, his things exploded in the back. Well, Jack, don't... Look. Just sit there. Just lay there, you silly cat. Uh, like driving a forklift or swinging a golf club after enough use, an ADS eventually becomes an extension of use, second nature of matter of habit. Uh, he wasn't part of the dive crew, but Sella managed to log hundreds of hours out on hikes. Not for fun, exactly, just so we'd know he had. I guess it's a little like being stabbed in the back, seeing and hearing your suit systems shut down around you one by one. Which is worse, a slow death from a wound you can't see, or being betrayed by the suit with which you thought you'd bonded? Yeah, that's... yep. Alright, back this way. That's probably death. 
Alright, there's my... What was that? Oh, Retrieve O2. Uh, in a minute. Jack, what are you doing? Okay, another oxygen thing right there. Jack. Do you have to be so annoying? I'm gonna run back here and... Because I think they're... I'm gonna be super annoyed if... Jack, you're in the way. Okay, this is loading, right? But... But I think there's the oxygen fill station over here. You know, what's even funnier is, like, part of the, uh... The mic boom has rusted, uh, like, one of the screws because he's rubbed his face against it so much that, like, one of the bolts has actually rusted because, you know, he rubs his face and then uh, up against his teeth and... It's like, you're a weird little cat. And the boom mic is less than a year, well, it's about a year, year and a half maybe at this point. Year and a half old. Like if that, oh, you're gonna lay on my hand now, you silly cat. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. Hang on. I told you I wanted you in my lap. <laughs> you're such a dork. Oh, Jack, baby, I'm gonna put you in a headlock and then I'm gonna pick you up and triple suplex you. What's the, or a pile, what's the one where you put their head in between your legs and like sit, you know, jump down, pile drive. I'm gonna do that to him. Or, uh, I'm gonna run against the ropes. This is how little I know of, uh, wrestling and stuff. I'm gonna run against the ropes on the opposite side of the ring and then I'm gonna run back and, and jump and like hit him in the neck with my elbow. What are you, Jack? Listen, you. I'm gonna maul you, like, very much here in a minute. Because we're gonna stop here in a second. And as soon as we stop, Jack, it's... You're done. You are done. Jack. He picked it up from Manny. Oh, it's, it's out of order? Is that the deal? Restore power to activate lift. Okay, that makes sense. Jack, could you not, please? Oh, wait, what was that? No, that was the dude. No, there's a... Come on, another anglerfish. Okay, well, we'll follow this cord. Maybe that'll take us to the low power. Mm, don't die! Uh, what was that? Oh, that was probably the oxygen. Okay. And so this is the power, I guess. Ah, uh, flares. All right, we'll take one. Some more oxygen. You know, I didn't see where the, the dude was. Do you have to lay on Jack? Look, I love you, but I don't want you doing this. Come on, come on. Could you not just get in my lap? Do you have to lay on my mouse? Like, Manny does it because he wants to eat. Jack does it because, you know, because he loves me, I guess. I love you too, Jack, baby. Just calm down, okay? He's like a child that wants attention. All right, just lay down right there. You're in my lap. You've been in my lap like five times in the last five minutes. Just lay down, please. He doesn't know what I'm doing, though. You know, it's not... Uh, okay, can I... Zero volts. So I have to... Jack! For... Come on. Come on, Jack, please. 
Here, I'm gonna, come on, come on, come on, come on, okay. Listen, you are a baby, but I need to do this so I can stop. We're about at the point where I need to stop. And you've been bugging me for like the last, I don't even know how long. Okay, Jack, listen. Okay, I'm gonna move you. You're gonna go over here. Okay, just lay right there. Just lay right there. <laughs> you suck. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I, I thought that's where I had to go. Do not move, Jack. Jack, come on. Come on. Alright, you. I'm picking you up. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you, Jack. Oh, come on! Come on! Are you serious? I thought it paused while I did that. Okay, Jack. Oh, look at all these things. Oh, what is this? Overconsumption? Okay, well... Where am I going? Especially when I can't look down. Uh, maybe that green light will take me to the right place. Or... Wait, what is this over here? There's like a cage? No. Retrieve O2. We're gonna need to. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> I see you, Jack. Just chill out, okay? Okay, so I was over here before, where the dead body is. And there's some kind of blinking light. Right, so I guess we just follow this dude. Okay, I'm trying to move. What, do we go up here to, to talk to it? Um... Oh, he's showing me the right way. I guess. Uh, over there. Oh, come on. Okay. Get the... Oh. Well, the, hey, that's handy. Reroute methane flow. Um, did that do it? I have no idea. Block A, B, or C. I... I don't know. Maybe C? Ah, oh, crap. Please don't fall. Okay, well, okay. Was this where I was supposed to go? Still zero volts. Hundred and ten volts. Oh, activate generator. Jack. Do not lay on my hand, please. Son of a bitch. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. We're moving. We're moving, you silly cat. Just sit there. Just lay down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if this is correct. I'm hoping it is. I don't know how many volts are needed.
Uh, overload. Well, how many does it need? Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea. 815 volts. Or at 815 is the risk. So we gotta get to 815, I guess? Um, 705. So if we do one more. You're an engineer. You're a problem solver. Okay. You value logic and precision. You talk a lot about times, distances, values. And yet there were some challenges you couldn't solve. Numbers are easy. It's people that are complex. Numbers bring things into focus. No gray areas to distract you from getting things into perspective. <sighs> Maybe that's the small angler fish. Okay, be really great if uh do I have a key card? I don't know, I could try using the same one from before. Okay. Can I I don't know if I can stop here. Jack, I love you, but you cost me a lot of time. Oh, that thing moved up. I don't see anything in there though, and I don't even think the door is active, so we're just gonna ignore... Uh, ignore the big ugly thing. So where's the key card? I found one body. Elevated O2 intake, uh, max flares, okay. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything else. Maybe there's another body this way? That's what I turned on, right? Is this thing? Yeah. Okay, so it's like, hey, you're in the right area. You got the thing working. Good job. Uh, now what? Like, this doesn't look like the right way to go. Neither does this. OK. 
Okay. So it was like, you know, you go across here. And that's where the control is. And then what? Okay, another octopus. Great. Yep, great. All right, I don't see... I mean, unless I just walked right by it, that's an, you know, that's a possibility, I suppose. Getting up on the second floor, what is... Okay. Okay, how do I get there? don't think I can... I mean, honestly, I didn't even think this... Is this... Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Is this way passable? I don't know, I see... The, oh, no, don't even tell me. I have to jump on the things to get there, don't I? Because you look up and it's right next to that one thing. Okay, I can't get up there from there. Am I stuck? Nope, not entirely. Alright, let's... Get here, we'll jump back up on the thing. Thank you for being quiet now, Jack. Or, you know, for being calm. He's just chilling in my lap at, at the moment, which is really. Quite handy. Okay. Um, can I get up onto here? Oh, uh, no, no, no. How about... Okay. Okay. That's something. Oh, okay. I'm standing on it. That's good. No! Okay, this might be all right. Oh, great. Problem is, I can't look down and see where I'm at. What? I have to redo this whole section? Okay, we're done. We're done. Alright guys, well, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I'm a little fucking pissed, to be quite honest, that I have to redo all of that. I'm a little pissed that, uh... It's not Jack's fault, but he did distract me quite a bit. Um... And I'm sitting, you know, he's sitting here in my lap as I'm petting him and he's flicking his tail back and forth. Uh, I'm just annoyed I have to redo that whole thing and the jumping, the j crappy jumping puzzles. It's like I can't look down. I can't make sure my feet are where they're trying to be. You know, and then I jump forward and I hit that thing and... I'm like, well, okay, I'm not gonna make it because it's too tall, apparently. So let me aim and turn to the right and try and land on the pipe. Oh, there's no pipe. In fact, there's a crevasse. 
Right, there's a giant freaking hole that instant kill. So, uh... But I didn't know that because you can't look down. So, yeah, great. Thanks, guys. Um, anyway, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's this, uh, it's, I'm drinking something called a Texacola, which is a cola infused with honey. And, uh, I've never seen it before. It's made by some kind of beer makers, uh, but it's a soda. So it's really good, really good. It's like, uh, the cola, but it gets rid of that bite at the end when you take a drink. Instead, it's like sweet. So, so really good. But that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better, hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time where I will be less annoyed and, and hopefully do this thing on the first go. Uh, but until then, guys, take care.